Hi, this is Todd from thestringclub.com. This video is about how to put finger tapes on your instrument. So we're going to go from this to this. There's a few things that you need before you get started. You'll need a pencil to mark the fingerboard. You'll need some tapes. And you'll need a tuner of some kind. I also have some scissors here because the kind of tapes that I use need to be cut. Um, for the tapes, there are some companies that make uh, ready made tapes for fingerboards, uh, but I like to just get um, auto pinstriping tape from an auto parts store. I like the 1 8 inch white tapes for beginners, and I'll use the 1 8 inch uh, black tapes for people that have been playing a little bit longer or just don't want, to, don't want it to be so obvious that they have tapes on there. You can still see the black tapes pretty well. Um, it's not like it disappears into the fingerboard, but from the audience you can barely see them. So that's a pretty good choice if you don't want it to look like you're a beginner. For violin and viola, we don't need much tape since the fingerboard is so small. So I'll cut right about there. That's what about an inch and a half, maybe a little under two inches. I want it to go around the fingerboard and off to the side of the neck a little bit so it sticks well. So I just make four pieces about that size, about an inch and a half. The tuner that I'll be using today in this demonstration is on my Android phone. It's called Da Tuner, D-A-T-U-N-E-R. And it's just a free app that I found on the Google Play Store. So um, feel free to use that if you have an Android phone. If you have an iPhone or iPad, I'm sure there are apps, free apps uh, as well for those. And this works really well. Basically, it just shows you what note it hears in the middle, and then it has little lines going off to the left if your sound is too low, or off to the right if your sound is too high, and then you can adjust until the line is right in the middle. We'll be using this to position the tapes exactly right. If you don't have a tuner like that, or a separate tuner that you use for your instrument, like a tuner that clips onto the instrument, or various other tuners that, that, that are out there, uh, you can just use an online site that's called onlinetonegenerator.com and it plays the sound for you and therefore you have to match with your ears as you're looking for where to put the tapes. And I'll demonstrate that as well. I'll tell you all the numbers that you have to put in there in order to get the right pitch. Onlinetonegenerator.com If the string is out of tune, then where you mark to put all the tapes will all be in the wrong places. So be very careful to get this string in tune first. So once the A string is perfectly in tune, I'm going to play where I think B is, so about there, and I'm going to pluck and I'm going to look at my tuner and see when it's exactly in tune. I'm going to keep adjusting until the note seems to stay right in the middle or at least pretty close. These tuners are very sensitive, so it may wiggle a little bit up and down, but as long as it's centered right around there and it says B, then that's the right spot. So I'm going to take my pencil and mark right at the middle of my finger, make a little tiny mark right there. Now the next one I do is a C sharp. Just keeping adjusting until it looks just right right there. So I make a mark right there. The next is D. That means it's going to be almost right next to my second finger. And last is E. Okay, now I have four small marks right in the middle of the fingerboard, and that's exactly where I'll put the tapes. So now I just peel the backing off of this tape, and then I slide the tape under all four strings. It may take a try or two to get it on under all four. I position that tape right on that mark, and then I make sure that it's perfectly horizontal. It's not slanting one way or the other. And there's my B. Obviously, just do the same thing for all the rest of them.
So now this viola has all the fingering tapes on it at exactly the right spots so the student can be sure that if they're pushing down right on the tape that it will be the right sound. So this cello already has three tapes on there but I'll demonstrate putting the fourth tape on. The first three are the ones that you'll need for playing in first position. So for beginners, these are all you would need. You don't really have to put the fourth tape on there. You'll start using the fourth tape when you start shifting into higher positions. But it's not bad to have it on there ahead of time anyway. To put the first tape on, you pluck here and move around until your tuner says that B is perfectly in tune. You put the mark right there and put the tape underneath. The second tape, which is actually where we put our third finger, is the note C sharp. So make sure it's saying C sharp on your tuner when you find this. The third tape, which is where we put our fourth finger, is the note D. Now the fourth tape will be E. Like we said, you won't use this in first position, but it's still good to have that on there. That's the note E, find that on your tuner. And then mark in the spot. Peel off the backing of the tape. Put it under all four strings. Make sure it's centered horizontally. There we go, now the cello is finished. On the double bass, I use the G string to find where to put the tapes on because it's the highest string. The A string is so low, it's kind of harder, harder to hear the pitches. So on the G string, the first note that we're going to put a tape on is the note A. So I'll find that A and then let the tuner tell me when it's exactly right. Right there. Make the mark. The next one is B, right there, make a mark there. And for the third tape, some people like C, some people like C sharp. I prefer C natural, so I'm going to go right there, and then the fourth tape is D. Alright, so now I have four marks on the fingerboard right where I'm going to put the tapes. Take the tape, slide it under all four strings. Line it up just right. And press it down. And then go ahead and do the same thing for the other three. Using the online tone generator is a little harder for the bass because of the low sounds uh, they don't come out quite as clearly. So you may have a better time using a tuner that shows you what pitch it's hearing instead of using your ears. If you have to use the online tone generator, it's actually easier to hear uh, an A an octave above the one you're tuning. The low sounds don't really come through um, speakers very well. If you have headphones, you can do it um, better, but still it might be better to use the notes that are an octave higher.